All right, guys. So we have our agency name. We have our domain. We have our logo and we have our phone number. Now what we need to get is our business card, right? Business cards are really important in establishing us, you know, ourselves and our, our agency as a real business. And, you know, many of you probably may have had businesses before, know all about business cards. Um, you could you could skip this video if you want, though I am going to be showing you a couple of tweaks you might not have known about or a couple of little cool features that you can have on your business cards. Um, but the point of this whole video is just to get a business card. Now, again, if you're on a tight budget, you're just starting out, you don't want to spend a lot of money, you can go to Vista Print and their cards, their standard cards for 100 are about $15. Right now, if you're just starting, you don't need 2,000 cards, right? 100 cards will do it to just get started. And you could always order more, um, you know, as you go, right? As you start getting more clients, if you want to order more cards or different cards, you can do that. Uh, they have different features here. They have standard, they have premium, um, and then they have premium plus. And, you know, it's really simple. You just hit get started. And then you you create the car and they ship it out to you a few days later. Now you do want to have a decent, like I said, card. You don't want a cheap, flimsy card, right? If you have no money and all you get for is fifteen bucks and get the fifteen dollar one, but I would definitely go with the premium plus thirty two bucks. Get a nice stock and just get a nice looking, clean card that has your logo, your business name, and your information on it. Now. Now here's something you're gonna to wanna to consider. As you see right here, it says upload your design. Again, we want a nice professional look to our business, to our company, right? We wanna get a nice design. Well, how do you do that, right? Obviously you can go through the templates on the card and you can make one if you want. The other thing you can do is you can go to fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. We're gonna be talking a lot about this site. This is where you can get it's like a gig site where you can like for five, 10, 20 bucks, people will do things for you. You simply, you know, you simply go to Fiverr business card design and you can choose from all these people who will create a custom design for you that you can then upload to these sites. Now, when you are on um, Fiverr and you are choosing someone, you're going to really want someone with a high rating. Right, but you're also going to want someone that has done a lot and has had a lot of reviews. Like this person is 4.9 out of and it's 90 reviews, not bad, right? Well, this guy is 5.0, Fiverr's choice, thousand reviews, right? That's huge, right? Like, because someone could have a five point, like this guy's a 5.0 review with 38 reviews, right? So we want, you know. So then what I would do is I'd click on this. And this guy goes through, shows you some of the examples, tells you what you want. You can go down, you can read all the reviews. And then here are his packages. So his packages really start at about 20 bucks for the basic up to $50, uh, $55. And this kind of tells you what's involved in it. But I mean, even if you have to pay 20 bucks, you know, it's really definitely worth it to get a design. And then you can just look at other people, right? You can look at this guy, see what he's offering. Or she's offering, I mean, look at the reviews. She's all the way down to $5. So anywhere from $5 to $20 to $50, you know, you can get a nice uh, card created for you. So, um, so, you know, that's something that I would definitely look at when you're thinking about creating your business cards. Now, we talked about this, we talked about Visit Print. I want to talk about one more site um, where you can get um, some business cards at. All right, so the other site that I want to show you is called moo.com. Now they make uh, cards, also business cards and a lot of other stuff. They make actually really nice, high quality business cards and their cards, they have a lot of nice features. So it's definitely a site to kind of look through and see all the things they offer. But the one thing I want to talk about is this feature that they have right here, which is the QR code business card, adding a programmable QR code right to the back of your card, right? Um, 
So what's nice about this is when you're going out and you're talking to people and you're giving them your card, right? What happens a lot of times someone gives you a business card and then you, they, they stick it in their wallet, right? But this now, if you have a nice QR code, you can, you can encourage them to scan the card. It could take them to your website. It could take them to, uh, it could generate a phone call where they can scan it to call you, or it can create a V card and upload their contact information into their phone, which is super cool, right? They can have your business name, your phone number, and everything else in the phone. So this is a really cool feature that um, Moo.com offers and um, this QR code that they put on the back. Now, a lot of you guys who are a little more savvy, you know that you could probably create your own QR code online and program it and then give it to the guy on Fiverr, right? And then, you know, he, then you could then you could print it on your card also. But um, this is, if you're just, you don't want to use Fiverr, you just want to buy some cards um, and you really like the idea of this QR code, um, if you go to moo.com, then you'll be able to get that put on. Now there's a few other things that you can do with this QR code um, that we will be talking about in later videos. Now this is something that uh, Stephen Floyd, a friend of mine, he actually did a training on this and I thought it was brilliant. Because what are we trying to do with all this stuff for our agency? We're trying to get our foot in the door with clients, right? We want to be able to be able to contact them or them contact us, but have them see us as someone who really knows what they're doing. So one of the foot in the door strategies we have that we'll be showing you in later videos is that you can offer a potential client a whole website analysis report, which is like a 10 to 20 page report about their website. And it, it's a PDF that actually shows them like how they're doing rank with the rankings, um, what errors, are, what site errors they have in their site or what um, things are holding their site back from ranking. It's like a very detailed report. Here's the beauty of it is you don't have to do this report. It's actually you white label this um, site that you know you send the potential client over to the site they stick in their email their phone number and their website and they hit send boom it generates the report sends it to them and now you have their contact information and you can now contact them and you've already done them a service so it's more likely they're going to talk to you now now again we're going to go more into that in other videos i don't want to get in the weeds on that or talk too much about it but the reason why i'm bringing that up is imagine if you had a card and on it it says get your free website analysis you know, want to know how your website's doing in Google, want to know what's wrong with your website or whatever you want to write on there. And then you have that QR code over there under it. As you're talking to someone, you could just simply say, Hey, you know what? We offer a free website analysis. Just hit this QR code. They scan it. It put a link from your site in the QR code. They scan it. It takes them over, um, to the website analysis that's white labeled to your business and they put their information in. Now you have their contact information and they're a warm lead that you could follow up on. You know, you're going to get so many contacts from this. It's crazy. So that's a, that's a, that's a little twist on this, this, uh, card that I wanted to show you guys. And again, I have to give credit to Stephen Floyd, um, because he actually came up with this and, and I think it's genius. So anyway, guys, that's the video for the, for the, cards for your business cards you definitely need business cards even if you just go to visaprint spend 15 bucks and that's it you need to get something in your hand so when you start talking to people you can give them that then give them some way to contact you all right guys i'll see you in the next video